What's up everyone, it's Yoichi, and we're back with some more Animal Crossing, and today I'm hoping we're going to have a cool house build, because we're going to be building the house for Lucky, which is one of my villagers on my island, and he's a dog villager, but he's also a mummy, so I'm figuring that he might have some uh, really cool items. So we're going to give him the chocolate, and we are going to see what he has in store for us. Oh, souvenir chocolates. They're like a piece of somewhere else, but made of chocolate. Also, he's pretty funny. Did you get these from that vacation island place where you work? Because any place that's got chocolate has got to be cool, right? Those are the rules. Want to check it out? Do I? I can't wait to see this place. Yay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, Lucky is a really cool villager. Like I said, he's a mummy, and he actually has a very creepy house, though. His house is literally, it's like a dirt flooring and a, um, I don't know, this old, uh, this like decrepit wallpaper. And then he has a bunch of tombstones. I'm not even kidding. He has a bunch of tombstones. He has a, um, a skull radio and I think he has a skeleton in there too. It, it's so creepy. So he's a mummy and then it's like, yeah, you're wondering if that mummy stuff is just a costume or he's really a mummy. Well, his house has tombstones. Well, this is amazing. This sounds so pretty. I want to eat it. I won't because I tried it once, but I want to. Thanks for bringing me here. I'm going to go exploring. Oh, you brought a friend along. I hope they enjoy the island. Okay, so we're going to... Well, I'm going to get my points real quick, but we're going to go talk to Lottie and then we're going to be building the house for Lucky. Okay, so let's see what Lucky has for us. I'm feeling kind of sleepy. It happens sometimes when I'm too relaxed. Uh, okay, well... I'm jealous you get to work in such a pretty place. I wish I had to do stuff here too. Hey, I want to build a vacation house somewhere around here. Can you help me? Yeah, let's do it, Lucky. Yes, you got this. And then after you're done, I'll get this. My own vacation house, that is. So cool. I mean, I think I already know, I have an idea where he's going to be. So I was thinking it'd be nice if my vacation help was kind of like this. The Cradle of Civilization. So yeah, see, he wants, uh, he definitely wants, uh, he wants a sarcophagus, and uh, he wants Egyptian stuff. So yeah, I thought this would be cool. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. Yeah, of course you do, Lottie. Okay, I'm thinking we haven't used the desert islands yet, and who better to use the desert for than Lucky? Ooh, I like this one. I think we're gonna go with this one. It's got some water in the back. Yeah, let's go with this. We gotta make this place really nice because I feel like this is gonna be a unique build, so... Whoa, that spot looks cool. I can't wait to go there. Why am I reading this again? I don't know, both sounds good, what do you think? Oh, oh it asks you now if you want one story or two stories. Let, let's go with two. Okay, let's do two floors. I'd be like a double decker sandwich, but kind of harder to chew. I was just trying to spam through it, I didn't expect it to ask me this, but I guess it asks you now when you're building if you want two stories. Alright, let's just get into the build, though. Oh, this place is really gonna be my vacation home? Really, really? Ah, uh huh. This is gonna be so fun. Wait, they actually have a box outside. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get out of your way. It's time for a snack break anyway. I can't wait to move in. The Cradle of Civilization. They actually have a box outside. Oh, it's these ruined things. I guess that uh, those can't be placed inside. Golden seat. Okay, it's gonna be a... This is gonna be something. A mining cart. Forbidden altar. Vine lamp. Okay, so... <laughs> This is, I think this is going to be something. I'm just going to get right into it. We got some interesting items here, so. 
We'll, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see. Alright, so for the outside, I just kind of try to make it ruin-esque and, you know, mysterious ruins, mysterious. You see, it's supposed to be the Cradle of Civilization, so, you know, I'll put some pillars. This archway was actually one of the Require items. We got a cave over here, which you actually can't go in it, and it's kind of facing the wrong way, but... Oh, let me move it back. But, that's okay. And then, you know, we just got some weird mysterious head. We got some... an altar over here that I put some gold on top of. If you take that gold, you probably get cursed. We got an information statue, which is one of the art pieces, actually. So, yeah, you know, this place is just kind of interesting, intriguing. Uh, so... And then I try to make the house kind of like beige. I was trying to make it look like a pyramid, but there isn't that much stuff that looks like a pyramid. Then for the inside, I think it's going to be really interesting, so I'll see what I can do. We're going to try to make it like a temple inside. So yeah, as you can see, we already got the pyramid stuff. So I'm going to see how uh, crazy I can make this. We ha A golden sarcophagus is actually one of the items. I was trying to see if this was a bed or not, but I guess it's not. Yeah, I don't think it's actually a bed. And then we have this, like, King Tut's thing. So <laughs> this will definitely be, uh, this will be something. Okay, well, I think my uh, pyramid... <laughs> is about done now. It's honestly one of the more interesting designs that I've done so far. One of the more interesting, unique. I mean, the spaceship one was pretty cool, but I mean, I guess we're trying to top that because we got this pyramid here. So basically we went kind of for a, I don't know what you call this, like a, uh, I don't know, a, we, we basically made it a sarcophagus room, but I don't know what the fancy word for this kind of room is, but it's kind of like a grand sarcophagus hall type thing. And we got these gold sarcophaguses in the side. Some candles, uh, some torches, and then we have the fancy, uh, fancy kind of statue in the middle with a gold bow on top, gold vases, and yeah, we got some vines and pillars for the ambiance. And then I put some kind of uh, creepy black shine on this well that I put in the middle, so... And I put the wind soundscape. I forgot to mention when we did the spaceship video that I put the space soundscape. I think I forgot to mention it at least. This time we put the wind soundscape and yeah, so I think this adds a lot of character and I, I gave him the feral op the outfit obviously. And yeah, I know not like a uh, definitely not a basic house anymore. Now let's see now. <laughs> Upstairs, if you're wondering, what am I even saying at this point? But upstairs, you might be wondering what it is if this is the sarcophagus room. Well, upstairs is the throne room. And if you thought downstairs was a little creepy, then, well, upstairs, uh... Okay, so here is the golden throne. We got some more vines in the back, but look, we have the music playing. We have a bunch of uh, skull radios on top of all the pillars. We got torches, and then we got the pharaoh on the left, and then the, I don't know, the queen, I guess, on the right. And can two people actually sit on here? Oh, I have, an, I have an interesting idea for a picture. Let me see if I can get it to work. Um... Let's see, can I do matching mode, or can I only do that after the build? I think I have to finish the build. What I want to do is... Uh, maybe I'll just put Lucky. I was going to put both of us in the picture, but... Maybe I'll just get him. What I was going to do is matching mode and put us both, but... It's much easier to take pictures when you're in creative mode, because they won't move. And I see that, and then... I know I usually don't take the pictures in the video anymore, but or I don't do it all, all the time. But I think this one kind of warrants it. I mean, look at this. I didn't want to take the picture before showing you guys because I didn't want to spoil spoil it. Uh, let's see. Dramatic. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. 
Or antique. Oh, antique does make me think about, um, like Indiana Jones, like those kind of movies. Let's go with antique. Even though we won't be able to appreciate all the colors in the picture, but what, what am I even saying? Let's go with antique here. Alright, well, that should be about it. Although, I'm gonna need another picture so I don't, uh, I don't spoil it for the video. Because I feel like that would be kind of spoiling if I put that on a thumbnail, but anyway. And then we have a sleeping bag here. Basically, this is for, like, archaeologists, kind of my thing. And then the archaeologist little campfire here. So, this is the bed, basically a sleeping bag. And I don't know, I think this one turned out really, really cool. It's definitely unique. And this is why I wanted to make a... Make a house for, for Lucky, so... I think this place looks good, and let's just, uh, let's just turn it in. What's up? Ooh, are you done? It's ready. Yay, it's finished. You're the best. You really worked hard on it, too. That means a lot of, a lot to me. Thank you. Oh, you know what? We may have should have done this downstairs, but... I mean, there's not a bunch of uh, furniture and stuff. I mean, it's unique and stuff, but it's also kind of, uh, like, very open since it's, like, a throne room and another main ring room. It's... Like, there's not a ton of things. Most of the things are duplicates. But I think it really fit the theme well. Okay, well, if, if, okay, given, it was giving us a cursed picture for this cursed temple, I guess. Ooh, that is actually, that one with the, the blurred effect, that'll be a nice thumbnail. People won't know, um, won't be able to tell with that. Can't hide, I get, you know, this is a unique build, I gotta get people to click on the video. Thanks so much, so now, what do you want to do? Want to hang out? As much as I love you, Lucky, I don't need to get going. Oh, okay, Sace Travels. If I need anything, I'll come find you. See ya. Yeah, this is also our first time using the, the, the desert island for the Happy Home Paradise, so I, I think that, that that's definitely perfect. Like, a pyramid temple thing is definitely a good for a good theme for the desert. Welcome back. Hope it went well. You've been working hard lately. It's time we started treating you like a famous designer. Oh, wow. You know what? I am getting a little bit famous, I guess. So does that mean I get a raise, though? Just think. You started out as just a trainee, but now you're a real deal designer. Well, maybe. I could have done more designs from the beginning if you guys would have given me all the features, but... It's true. You're so trustworthy and capable. I feel like I can leave work to you and not have to, any worries. Okay, now you're starting to sound like Nook Naughty, and I don't like that. Sorry, Lottie. What, what, what did I call her? Naughty? Oh my god. I'm so happy to see how much you've grown. Not that I had anything to do with it. You are doing such fine work. I enjoyed watching you. Enjoyed watching you realize a client's grandest desires, but business isn't about giving folks what they want It's giving them what they didn't know they needed and charging them a lot of money for it I have a special challenge for you next time. Why not propose a design for the client yourself? Okay, well, that's interesting If you're looking for a client who might be open to such things, okay Many of those VIP clients will look to us for inspiration. It's a great opportunity for you. Well, am I only able to use that, do that option with an amiibo, or can I do it with anyone? Because uh, anyway, I had to quit blabbering on so much and just pay you. Yep, you got that right. Fifteen thousand now. Okay, we did get a little bit of a raise. Sweet, I'm a famous designer now. I'm somebody. I'm really somebody. Yeah, I didn't, like, make a whole, uh, island or anything, but I guess I didn't get famous for that, for that whole five-star island. By the way, our selection of work clothes has been updated, so check out the locker room when you can. Changing your work clothes can be refreshing, so pick something that suits your mood. Yeah, maybe I will change my clothes for next video. Alright, well, that's it for this one. We just got another promotion, another job well done, and, I don't know, something about 
you choosing the theme, but I don't know if that's locked behind Amiibo Paywall or not. I guess we'll find out next time, but I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.